Hi guys, this is Luthias. Welcome back. In today's episode, we are going to be covering how to kill mutants and how to stay away from them if needed. Okay, so today's title will be the ultimate mutant guide, knowledge is power. And I really mean that guys, is the amount of time that people run away from mutants or that you let mutants give away your position or you know where you let mutants kill you has got a major effect on the game and my point today is to show you guys that the mutants are not a very dangerous part of the game and how to deal with them effectively okay in the previous um video the ultimate survival guide we went over the basics of miscreated and today we are only going to cover the pve elements okay the first video was a bit too long and yeah <laughs> i don't believe it but i thought the video was going to be like 20 to 25 minutes yeah i don't know <laughs> where, where i eat a, where i eat a blank there but in any case uh yes first question that i'm going to answer that some of you might have is why do you log out in a underground bunker or an underground shelter the main reason i log out in underground shelter or in a cave or in my base or in a house is if i log into the game i don't want to log into a blizzard or a red storm or a nuclear winter storm and be affected negatively and i want to log out in an area where i know mutants don't come to okay so if you log out in like outside this house there is a mutant walking around there and if you log in your body first spawns into the game and then you stand there for a few seconds i think it's 30 seconds i could be wrong your body stands there for a while so what you will get sometimes is that you log out in a forest or outside or a area that's not that safe and when you log into the game you're a fresh spawn and you don't know why okay and if you remember where you were last time you're gonna have to run back to your body but that is just due to the fact that you may be spawned where there was a player and you died or you know you spawned where there were mutants and yeah they basically killed you beforehand so logging out in a in a safe area is a very very big part of the game okay now there are three basic mutants in this game okay and in at the end of the first video i just healed the radiation with the anti-rad mushroom which i got in this cave as well and then i picked up a healing mushroom which i will use later to make that cool bandage that i that i told you guys about but we are going to build a base okay um probably in the next episode or the episode after that so i'm going to start with just picking up the logs and again these underground shelters are really great for logs okay and hopefully we can spawn in one of the one of the spiders okay and when you search items a spider can pop up okay give you a heart attack in the beginning and you don't when a spider comes to you, you don't really want to give your your position away okay which a lot of people do okay i don't really want the tire so let's throw down the tire okay but you've basically got a crazy a spiker and a skinner okay which are these mutants here now that is a crazy okay now the characteristics of a crazy is that he's got normal clothing on he's he's not naked the skinner is naked with um very mutated skin and then the spiker has got a spike on the one arm okay now the one thing you must remember about a crazy is that the crazy is the fastest out of all of them okay and i'm going to prove that to you right now so we're going to dodge the rock that he throws at us and then we're going to take him on for a dice okay so there he hits us so as you can see the crazy is just as fast as you are okay we're not losing him 
So if we stay in his if we stay in his area, he's he's gonna keep hitting us. So you guys can see that the crazy is catching up to me. Okay, and that's that's the main difference between the crazy, the skinner, and the spiker. Okay, is that this guy can catch you. Now to stop dying here, yeah? one headshot, another headshot. Okay. Headshots are extremely crazy important when it comes to mutants because um, if you don't hit them in the head you're going to hit them more than once and a mutant works just like a player so oh thank you if you hit a mutant in, on the body it's going to do 30 30 milli damage which the which the which the pickaxe does okay but that means you're going to have to hit him four times where if you hit him on the head then you're getting some kind of multiplier. I know bullet shots are times 10 to the head. I'm not exactly sure what the multiplier is on the head. So if you guys would like to tell me, I would really appreciate it. Maybe it's times three or something like that. But yes, um, instead of hitting him four times on the body, you just hit him twice on the head. Okay, and then sometimes they have some kind of loot for you. But that is the biggest difference is the crazy can catch you where we're going to run into a spiker um, and a skinner later and then I'll show you that those guys can't kill you okay so what I'd like to do is spawn uh, I'm just going to search everything let's see if we can spawn a spider here come on edible mushroom that's another food source. Yeah, I just got a helmet in the last episode, guys. Nothing major. Uh, we don't want the chair now. Uh, let's eat this to minimize our inventory space. Let's break this down into repair kit. And that can repair most clothing. So let's just see if we can... Um, get a spider a spider muted here to spawn on us or a little a little sp there we go little spider okay so best option is to run away from these guys but if you don't run away you want to move back while you're eating them okay so that is very very important if you just stand still and you hit him you're going to hit over him okay if you hit like this all the time, maybe you can get him. What? But what I normally do is I just move back while I'm hitting him. Okay. And the reason why this is good is if you run away and there's people around you, then you're giving your position away. And if you allow the spider to explode, other people around you can hear that as well. Okay. So again, giving your position away. So just remember that move back and, um, that's the method I normally use. So I'm just getting a lot of rags here. As we said, rags are very important. Yeah, um, I'm going to be covering looting in the next episode. But let's just see if we can find anything interesting. No, we don't want glasses. See if we can find an, a hidden area. Okay, someone's clearly been here. Okay, you can't pick up something if it's got an item in it. So let's tear that into a rag. Let's get that, tear that into a rag. Okay, so we've got 10 rags doing very well in the rag department. And while we're doing very well in the rag department, let's focus on the rag and the rope. Okay, do we have a rope? No, we don't have a rope. So let's go to components rope and let's complete that cycle okay one rag and a rope okay so now we've got the maximum storage with the items that we have created okay so just going to quickly see if we can find anything interesting again no arrow then we don't search it because we don't search things unnecessarily Okay, so this is quite empty. And at the end of the last video, I showed you guys about the honey, you know, the beehives. 
And to give you honeycombs. Very important. Oh, I think someone just built up a quad here. Nice, man. And he threw his stuff away here. Okay, so he just built up a quad there. Very nice for him. Congrats, buddy. I'm gonna pack this up when I build a base. I like that thing. Uh, the thing is, this place has been looted. Let's just see if he's missed anything. Another nice um, food source, like I said. Gives you fluid, um, gives you food. Just takes a bit of your stamina. And this can maybe give me radiation when I eat it, but when we get a Survivortron, we can inspect it to see if it's going to give us any radiation. But we are survivors. We don't really focus on um, outside food. Okay, let's just check the salt. No, oh, our food is fantastic. Rubbing alcohol. Heat pack, yes, yes, yes. The heat pack is going to help us to demonstrate how to survive storms. Okay, let's see if we can spawn a spider mutant here. Okay, a cockroach. Cockroach is the second thing that can spawn. There we go. Does about four damage. Okay. But it's going to die with two shots just like the spider. So again, you might get a heart attack when it pops out. But remember, they pose no threat. So don't get a heart attack. Okay. And yes. I've already showed you guys how to craft. So let's just start um, upgrading our equipment a bit. Okay, I can see the horseshoe back. Okay, it's falling into the ground there. Let's not talk about that. Okay. Okay, no gun. Let's go look. Okay, so we covered the small spider. We covered the cockroach. Let's go get the other two mutants. Okay, guys, this is what the spider is going to do if you don't hit it. It's got a very, very big blast radius, and it can get stuck very easily. Let's see if we can get it out of its stuck position. Okay, so that's what it does, okay? And it's got quite a big um, damage radius, so just focus on that. Okay, here we're sitting with a crazy again. We know, we know exactly what a crazy is about. And mutants work with sight and sound. Okay, so I can walk up very close. And it's got a basically a, a 90 degree or no, 180 degree view angle. So it can see everything in front of it, everything to its left and everything to its right. But it can't cover anything behind it. But if I run. Okay, this one seems to be hard of hearing. But yeah, check this out, guys. Hello. So you, you can attract a mutant with talking to it. Okay. And this is a spiker. So let's see if a spiker can catch us. Doesn't really seem like it. Can you see that, guys? We can basically run circles around a spiker. And it's not that dangerous. Okay. Hello, hello. Okay, so let's let's test the the talking again. Okay, so we're gonna come up behind him, and then we're gonna put on the t the, the 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 voiceover. Gonna double tap caps lock. Okay, 
Was that the talking? Not sure. Okay, both there weren't headshots. But I'm clearly showing you guys that you don't need to fear mutants if you've got any kind of weapon. And that's another spiker. Headshot, move back, headshot. Okay, just allow him to get one shot off on us. That's all we're allowing. So you've got a pickaxe, guys. Okay. And as long as we make sure that they only hit us with one shot, that's fine. Now the spiker and the skinner does the same amount of damage, so you don't have to worry about that. And a drive belt, SUVs, well, we will be covering that in the looting guide. Let's go to first person. Yes, and this is the kiosk that we're going to use when we when I collect the guides for you guys. Okay. And of course I can pl up, apply a bunch of cool skins because I've been playing the game for a while and I've got the DLC. Okay, we found an even bigger backpack. Some nice aviators. I'm gonna keep the avi aviators on me guys, just to be cool. Let's see where the stove pad goes. Just left click on everything. Okay, now we're moving in a certain direction here. Remember, we haven't been at towns or anything. We're just looting odd locations. And any guy, anytime you guys see dead trees like that, then you know there's a swamp nearby. Okay, and I'm going to show you guys the the advantage of a swamp. Okay, so here we are at the swamp. As you can clearly see, there's a lot of dead trees around. And the main purpose of a swamp is this is the place where you're going to get healing mushrooms and edible mushrooms and anti like um, anti rad mushrooms a lot. You do get them scattered all over the world and you do get tablets um, inside houses. But this is where you come to make sure you can sustain any storm okay a spe specifically radiation a rad storm or a nuclear winter storm that gives you radiation okay or to sustain a radiation zone that you'd like to go into so we ju you just run across the edges which they not which they are normally at i just have to look up down then don't want to run into a player right now because we don't have a gun There we go. So, healing mushroom, anti red. This looks weird. Oil, spark plugs, and drive belts. This can really, really help us with our travels. Okay, it's just spark plugs and drive belt. And we walked past a few of them on our way here. So what I'm going to go do, guys, I'm going to get the spark plug and the drive belt. And that will help me to get to the mutants faster. Okay? The mutants that we have to get to, to show you guys how, to deal, how you do, deal with them. And we're even going to deal with a bear. That's the surprise at the end. Now... Clearly when a radiation storm starts, it's got two and a half minutes where you see the effect <clears throat> or when you hear the alarms, the towers that give you those alarm sounds, it means the storm is, is starting, okay, or, so, or is about to start. Then you've got about two and a half minutes to prepare for it, and then the storm starts. So as soon as the storm starts, like the nuclear winter storm in the first episode, we heard the sounds, but only at the end did we see the effects. So when the storm is in full effect, then you take a blue mushroom if it's building up your radiation. Okay. I normally wait for about a minute into the storm so that I, because I know the storm only lasts for two and a half minutes. 
So I wait about a minute as the storm is busy and then I take the blue mushroom because then I know um, only, the storm is only going to take a minute and a half of equalizing the mushroom. But the mushroom or the healing mushroom or, or any um, healing or you know, like bandage or a mushroom or whatever, all of their effects last for five minutes. So um, I know at least I'm going to get three and a half minutes of healing what it did to me. And then the heat pack solves your cold problem. Okay. At the moment, we've got 25% cold resistance, which isn't good, which isn't high. If I wear very warm clothing, I can get that up to 40%. And then if I take a heat pack, the heat pack is going to give me 100% cold resistance for five minutes. Okay. Again, another very important aspect to have, but I'll get back to you guys just now. All right, guys, here, here are one of the new additions um, to, to the Halloween update. Okay. It's a uh, goat. Let's run after the goat. There's a scorpion in the game as well. And I'll let you guys know if I see the scorpion. It is a PvE guide. So let's make sure it's complete. I almost forgot about the goat and the scorpion because they are new additions. Hmm. Fat and animal guts. Not impressed. <laughs> Not impressed. Not impressed at all. Hello, frogs. Depositing our first platforms too. There we go. And we picked up an axe. Yes, let's go get the drive belt. I know where it is. Okay, here's the third and final mutant, guys. The Skinner. Let's see if we can attract his attention. Hello, hello, hello. There we go, guys. So you can attract his attention by talking to him. Let's to prove to you guys that he can't catch us. Give him a chance. Again, we're running away from him. Okay. Don't need to show you guys any further than that. There we go, guys. That's the third mutant. So you can run away from the other two. It's just the crazy. Okay. That you can't run away from when it comes to up hills and down hills and stuff like that. It's going to be way more dangerous. Thank you for the drive belt. Orange. No, orange isn't my color. And yes, the, the puffy jacket is going to give me more inventory space. And that's the only reason I'm keeping it on at the moment. Because I like the look. I got a new shirt and I got a new um, hunter's camo. So I really like looking cool. Okay, always want to live myself into the character. And that's the cool stuff about getting new clothing. You can look like you want to look. Okay. So let's go get that bike. Just another tip, guys. In the beginning, like I showed you, try and stick to the forests. Try and stick to quiet areas. And there is the bridge going to the rad zone. But if you don't have to go over the bridge, don't. Okay, the bridge is a one-way street. You can jump off it like I usually do. But if you don't need to go through a dangerous area, don't. Take the more stealthy route. Okay, remember that. Try and not be seen so much. Especially since we don't even have a ranged weapon at the moment. Okay, here we are. I just want to get into a quiet area before I explain something to you guys. 
It's R to start the quite if you didn't know. And if you want to go into third person while you're in a vehicle, you have to press F1. Okay? You can't do it with the mouse scroll wheel. Okay. So now that we've got a nice scenic view here, I need to explain something to you guys. We already got the, we already cleared the swamp out twice. So we got the mushrooms, we've got the edible mushrooms, and we've got the healing mushrooms. Okay, so if we get, if we get a bandage and a and a bottle, a water bottle, we can make that cool bandage. Um, when you've got more than five mushrooms, don't pick them up anymore. Okay, except if you really have got access space. But use items that you can immediately because you might get into a fight or a dangerous situation and then you need that regen boost. You don't want to go into your inventory you know, and try and fix that. So just with those three edible mushrooms that we got, we can see our food is fine and we've still got the meat. Okay. Okay, now getting rid of that those access mushrooms, there's another base. Yeah, there's a lot of bases on here. All of them wooden. Very interesting. You will pay the price, my bro. You will pay the price. So yes, um, to get rid of those access mushrooms, like I said, you drink water anyway. And then you just use the access mushrooms, okay? To get rid of that radiation. Okay, let's go get those mutants. Okay, guys, I almost forgot. Okay, that's the other thing I wanted to discuss. We've got an axe, we've got a pickaxe, we've got a hatchet, and we've got a hammer. We've got everything we need to survive and build a base. Okay, what we don't have is a ranged weapon. Okay, now although these items are great for PvE, there are still two mutants which we can't kill with a melee weapon. Actually, three mutants. Three dangers that we can't kill with a melee weapon. That's the bear, the big spider mutant, and the brute. Okay, and those are the three that's left. So what I'm going to do is off, you know, I'm not going to show you guys how I do this, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, go to the range, I'm going to craft the bow, and I've got, I'm going to craft arrows, okay? If you find a gun, it's going to be 10 times easier, but I'm going to show you that even with a bow, you can kill three most dangerous threats on the island, and we're also going to um, take, care of, take care of some wolves as well, okay? So see you now. If you guys were wondering in the beginning, Luthias, why didn't you just make a, a torch, you know? with um with how easy it is to craft why did you start with the hatchet you guys will notice that when you start in the wild you need sticks for a lot of things and a hatchet allows you to chop wood logs okay to cut a tree and the reason why wood logs are so important is for this exact reason here you need sticks to craft the bow Okay, and we did pick up rope there at that place, so that's fine. So, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, let's convert all of that into sticks. Just a few chop chops from the axe. I could have done with the hatchet as well. Now we've got a bunch of sticks. Okay, but now check this. Arranged. And now, arrows. Five sticks in a rag, boys. So, why was the hatchet important? For this exact reason. 
Two stacks of arrows. Quick, 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 boys. Quick, quick, quick. And I want to let some of them burn them. Just for... I've got rubbing alcohol, guys. I'm not going to make uh, the second bandage. Okay, that's boring. I'm going to make the cool bandage. So let's add oil and rubbing alcohol to our wooden arrows. We're going to get some oil, boys. We're going to get some oil to make it interesting. Ah. Guys, we're going to get to the looting. But these are my favorite garages. Repair kit. No, man. What are you doing to me? Oh, nice big backpack. But I don't like those backpacks. A Malgadino. That's going to help us a lot when we want to craft C4. So if you get the Malgadinos, don't throw it away. Go put it in your kiosk. Okay? I repeat, do not throw it away. Go put it in the kiosk. Okay, and now we want oil. We will find the oil. Okay, guys, we have our first challenger. And that is the brute. Okay? Now, the brute you stay away from. The brute hits you for 20% damage. So, five shots and you're dead. Okay? And the lucky thing about the brute is that it's not um, fast. Okay? There. Hit does really bad. Whoa, that's a bad shot. There we go. So you can use its range against itself. Okay? It's not going to follow you forever. Okay. There we go. That wasn't very exciting, guys, but still, it's got a border. It's got a border, which you can use against it, or you can run away from it. Okay? So you get the border, and you deal with it. If you don't use the border, then you have to run, shoot, run, shoot, run, shoot. It's up to you. Okay? Okay. And yeah, the only reason I was confused there, why I couldn't run, is I have it so that if I aim, I just click the button. I don't have to hold it in. Come on, boy. See if you can do this. Hmm. No, that sucked. So let's zoom out. That was terrible. There we go. And another guard, boys. Ranged Weapons 3. Oh, sorry, boys. <laughs> I learned that one. I'm, I haven't learned that one on the server yet. I'm very sorry. But yes. Amalgadino is going to be very important for when we craft C4s. And I was very sorry that, um, oh, that's a waste. I was very sorry that I didn't take the two C4s from that drop that we ran into. But it's unrealistic on a full server, okay? That you're gonna, that you're gonna get that. Oh my goodness gracious me. The aiming is sucking. Whoopsie. Reload. There we go. There we go. Cool down, boy. Cool down. Okay. Wasted arrows there, but we've got more than enough um, sticks. Okay. So now we see one Amalgadino. Okay, guys. The, the item must be... 
Okay, so you need a full stack. That's another great reason to have a base, guys. To build up a full stack before you can come and store it. Very, very interesting. Okay. So, showed you what to do with the bear. Don't know when's the last time I've killed a spider mutant with a with an <laughs> with a bow and arrow, but let's go find out. Okay, guys, above Woodhaven, you get the Woodhaven checkpoint. Okay, so Woodhaven is there behind me. Okay, and you drive through Woodhaven. And then you'll see a bridge on your right hand side and that is the Woodhaven checkpoint and we need to be going a bit to the center of the map but or into the danger zone but we need to go into the danger zone to encounter a spider mutant okay because you won't encounter a spider mutant in the south side of the map uh, I'm not sure but I don't even think you encounter a I don't even think you can encounter a bear in the south side of the map, okay? And I always like to keep my, my primary weapon there on my number one key. And it's a bit quiet here. Yeah? Don't really like that. Let's see if it's been looted. Don't want to get shot in the head now. What's that? That's more rags for arrows. Well, it looks like the area has been looted, guys. Let's see if we run into a player. Oh, pistol silencer. Yes, please. Small megalite. Yes, please. We can put that on a gun red laser sight yes please turn that into a rag give us the laser sight and i want to show you the basic way of raiding a base holy cannoli do i want to do i want to Okay, let's use that for backup, guys. In case we run into trouble, we can use that as backup. Take another rope. As you can see, the further you go... Oh, explosives guide. We're really doing cool here with the guides. We don't need a flashbang. Let's take the explosives guide. Oh, we've got the oil. We have got the oil. What are we going to throw away? Let's put on the jacket for now. Of course, we're running out of inventory space. Let's go to arrows. What? We haven't got enough sticks. Okay, we can solve that problem later. No problem. Go to base building. We need 10 sticks. Okay, that's all we need. Don't want to carry that unnecessarily. Weapons, arrows. Okay, we've got 20 arrows. And now we can apply the rubbing alcohol and the oil to it. What? One oil, one rubbing, oh, one rag. Really? Do we need a rag? We don't have a rag. Damn it, man. How do we get a rag, boys? 
How do we get a rag? Do we could do we run into a town to go get a rag? Heck no, boys. Heck no. We get thatch and we go to our equipment. Oh, and there are wolves. I think we have to sort out those wolves now, to because I have to kill everything there is. Okay, so there's a rag. Weapons. Arrows. Let's make that. Okay. We've got our 20, 20 fire arrows. Let's put this off. Make sure where we are. Okay, let's go find those wolves. Our health is full, so we are ready. Going to first person. Got a headshot there. Stand stop. Ow. So you guys, wolves can bite you. But if you practice a bit. Fire arrows, boys. Hear them burn. Hear them burning, boys. So, it's not about running away from them, okay? It's not about running away from them at all. And yes, I'm definitely going to take their fat, um, because not every day that we run into a wolf pack. And this has basically just made me decide that we are going to do base building in the next episode. That was quite quick. Quite a few lucky shots there. Okay, but doing target practice on wolves is a very good way of getting your aiming right. Okay. Okay, I really hope the spider mutant spawns in. So let's get to our bow. How much ammunition do we have? 11 arrows. Okay, we've got 18 arrows there. So let's start to use the fire arrows now. Okay, as soon as your radiation starts building up, use the blue mushroom. And we've got five mushrooms, so we don't need to care about that. We don't need to care about that goat. But we need to spot the spider mutants. Because once again, I don't know when's the last time I've killed a spider mutant with a bow. But I do know that I need cover. And I do know that our radiation is going up quite quick. So I'm not going to loot right now. There it is. Okay. So, I think I'm going to use the car. What am, I going to, what am I going to use as cover? Yeah, yeah. I think we're going to use... I think we're going to use the car as cover. So it's very difficult to, to dodge his pet unless you've got cover. There we go. Okay. So as long as you're using cover, just like you're fighting with a person, it's not going to be a problem. And we even got more standing grounds. 
that's it boys let's get to the bear okay cover spider cover spider okay let's get to the bear and um end this just for insurance sake what are we missing here we're missing a black widow holy cannoli nah. can we kill okay i'm i'm bored of the i'm bored of the arrows now okay can we kill the bear with a black widow with a melee whip let's see let's use our fancy samurai sword check that in the sky boys we've got something crashing and since we've got a quad i don't want to die but yes having a quad is really great and we need to heal the radiation in any case so let's see if we can see where that thing's gonna fall and yes guys my view distance is on a 4000 instead of 8000 wait wait no it's on 2000 so i tested that to see how far if i need to put my view distance on 8000 to see things clearly i don't Yo, this plane is quite, quite close. Okay, where are you gonna crash, boy? Where, where, where are you gonna crash? We don't want it to crash on top of us. Otherwise, it's gonna kill us. Okay. F1. If you're right, riding through trees, make sure you're using first person. I need to get here quickly so someone doesn't kill us. That's really cool. There's still fire. Oh, a green duffel bag. Oh, a green duffel bag. Yes, we're gonna take that. Give me the, give me. No, why are you falling on the green duffel bag? I'm running out of time here, bro. Okay. Please, people, don't kill me. Oh, green duffel bag. I love it. What? What? Why are we heavy? Oh, oh, it's got a bunch of stuff inside it. That's why we are heavy, man. Now I get rid of all this stuff, man. Uh, oh, we want that. I think someone's gonna come. Holy gnoli, man. Five, five, six. So that's a pistol suppressor. We don't want the oil. We can use that later. We don't need that. Do we have a hatchet? I'm not sure. White puffy jacket. Goodness gracious, almost coming. Can we carry this? Why can't we carry that? How heavy is that? Okay, I'm getting out of here, boys. Hasta la vista, baby. Okay, guys. Goodness gracious, here's a lot of mushrooms, yeah? We're at the back of Woodhaven, yeah? And there's three blue mushrooms here. Uh, oh, I drank more than I needed to drink. It could be because I'm... Oh, the radiation is very high, that's why. Okay, well, the radiation won't bother us for very long. And this thing's got nothing in it. 
So I can fill it with water. Wait till I get a weight water purification tablet. And yes, guys, I give you my word I will kill a bear in the next episode. I've got the survivor drawn. Yo, that was good. I'm a bit sad that we didn't get the magazine. No, we didn't get the magazine, but we got the coolest pistol in the game. But we didn't get a magazine for it. So yes, guys. Again, I lose track of time. Okay, let's eat ourselves. Let's just consume the stuff here. Get our health up here. Okay, so again, I lose track of time. I don't want to make the episode too long. Okay, promise you guys in the next episode, I'll kill a bear. Okay, don't know if, if I'm going to kill it with a black widow. I was thinking about it. And if we go, if I go over the strategy of killing the bear, using a katana is not the best idea. Okay, but in the next episode, we're going to build a base. Okay, because we've got 64 lumber. We're not going to hit trees. We're not going to waste any ammo. While we were looting, we got the lumber from the pellets. Okay. And then we just built up a simple quad. We were lucky enough that the airplane drops on top of us. Remember that airplane can drop anywhere, boys. So if it drops on top of you, it's a major advantage, even on a full server. Because if it drops very close to you, you are there first. Remember, it can drop anywhere on the map. Okay, so if people are on the other parts of the map, it's going to take them quite some time to get there. So in the next episode, okay, we're going to build our base because clearly our weight and our loot space is becoming a problem. Okay, and we've got the Survivortron. Um, do you still want to show them the map? Let's just keep the map there why not okay we can use the survivor tron to test out some food but yes in the next episode we're going to build a base we're going to kill a bear and what else no the, the next episode i'm going to try and keep as short as possible guys so if you enjoyed it please press the like button if you're not subscribed yet please subscribe and press that notification bell because this series we're going to go right through the end and yes have fun See you guys next time. And if you were wondering, again, the bike's going to disappear in far, in six hours. So we're not going to get the bike back. But why are you logging out here? Because it's a quiet area. The chances of a mutant killing me while I'm spawning here is very bad. See you guys later. Cheers.